No. I'm sorry. Let's go back. Say the name of the place of interest nearby or say change location. Dick Smith. Segment. Is that correct? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Command not understood. No. No. Let me try. Your command was still not understood. No! Damn it! Shut no, up! No, 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 no. Say the name of the place of interest nearby or say change location. Change location! Southeast Asian. Is that <laughs> correct? <laughs> You're fired. Well, we found Dick Smith. Unfortunately, my uh, GPS couldn't find it. There it is. And it's glory. We'll go look for some ice fishing gear. At least what we're gonna try and do is try on some ice suits because I know they have striker and a maybe clam and I'm hoping maybe um, Eskimo, I don't know. We're gonna try some on and see how painful this is gonna be. So I just thought it'd be a good time. Look, they could have come early. They were open at That's 5 a.m. I know. This is the nice. That's nice. So we have this is not a float suit. Or is it? It so is. It's thick enough to be the float suit. It is? Yeah. 229. So that's clam. And here's the women's, right? And here's another color. Clam. And we have strikers. Bibs. These look short. Kids. Kids, that's why. Those are float, or those are the women's, These are right? the women's float. They're purple. It's kind of cool. All right. And this is a float striker. People really like the strikers. And okay, I do too. so this is this is something. Feel how light this is. Yeah. Now, this is a little bit heavier. Yeah. You can feel the weight difference just Definitely. on the hanger. Definitely. And this one, feel how heavy this one is now. And this is clam. And this is like, this is clam. And this is like the one I have. And one of the reasons I hate it is because it is so heavy. And look, there's no pockets. And it's cut straight. Pull that up. I bet you can see that. And this is what? Is that kids? No, this is, this is a 4XL, but okay. That's this a kid. This has got to be a kids. So this is the women's. This is the women's striker. Prism. Prism. And there are some things that I like and some things that I don't like. If you compare this to the men's, the men's has the cloth covering the pocket here, which I think is really handy. Here, let me see. I can show you. It's like that. Two of them, actually. But they didn't put that on the women's. No, they gave you a whole clip-on, clip-off. So right. But not only does the pocket Velcro, it has a zipper as well. So a cell phone would be a great place for it. Well, and they also have this one up here. Right. But this, my hand fits in easily. But it's, you're, you can't put as much in it, but at the same time, it's not going to get in the way. Right. And probably waterproof. Yeah, with that all closed up, definitely. It does not have an inside zippered pocket right. on the chest. Though. So what about the legs on this one? So they've got sure. the bend molded in it, and they've also got the adjustment. So you can see right here, you can shorten it. You can fold this all up and shorten it up to the zipper. And that, for shorter that's four gals, inches. Yeah, that's a lot of play. This is all rubberized lining. It's not gonna get wet through it. Right. Zippers look decent. Yeah. Zips from the bottom up and the up down. And that goes all the way down. And way. it also zips both ways. That's huge. That is huge. That's awesome. And you got the flap your back which some women support. like it and some women don't right
And then we have this the is the new women's ice armor. So that's new side pockets. That wasn't in there before. Side pockets. This adjustment strap is new. You know how on my old one I sewed that yep. waistband on the inside. Right. Because there was no way to adjust it. Yep. It's elastic there. I'm not sure white is the best choice here, but... Yeah, I'm not either. <laughs> what that'll look like after a year. Now these zippers are waterproof, but they don't feel as hefty or as strong. Oh, but they are on the inside, so yeah. they're just waterproof and sealed on the outside. Are they adjustable? No. So one size, that's it. Right. It's not adjustable in the length. You got knee pads in both. Yep. Hmm. This doesn't have the outside chest pocket. And it has one, it's not an inside zippered pocket, it's an inside pocket with a cell phone case. Right. And no place, I suppose you could clamp on something, no rag. Drying towel. No drying Microfiber. towel. Microfiber. No hooks to clip it onto. This has hooks to clip extra stuff onto. Yeah, like scissors or something. They have handy. Now these straps have Velcro so you can undo them completely. These do not. They have sliders. They yeah. have only the sliders. These have the sliders and the Velcro. And then they got this piece here. What do they got in the back there? I've never, mine have free forming. I took my X piece off. Yeah. This, this doesn't have a piece in the back, but right. they do cross. Okay. Interesting. Yep. So let's try them on. Oh, I don't think so. Every time I'm watching a video and men are wearing strikers, right? And I see them put hands like this. I always thought they were sticking them inside the bibs, but they're not. It's actually a fleece lined pocket. Yep. That is super handy to have right here. And they're, they're, they're nice and warm. This is, and it's comfortable. This is so much more comfortable than any pair of women's bibs I've ever tried on, even the striker women. And they're supportive and the, like everything supports you. It holds you inside the suit. I have my jeans on under here and I would never wear jeans out on the ice under it, but it's even comfortable with my jeans under it. And there's a liner in there too that you can take out. This one, no, this is the sure float. Oh, the sure float. Okay. There, yeah, there, it looks like there's snaps inside so you could put a liner in, but it doesn't come with a liner. Right. But I don't think you need it. This no. This is heavy enough and warm enough. And look at me, even with my short legs, if I were to shorten this, yep. it'll still not drag. Look at that. Shorten to the bottom of the zipper right there. It would still be way up above my boots. Right, and your boots would I'm give you some foot lift. I'm five foot four. Yep. But ladies, don't be afraid of trying the guy stuff on. Absolutely try the men's on. Yeah. Waterproof pocket right here in the front. Right. And black and gray is pretty much a staple with everything. It is. I mean, they've got these nice little pocket covers. These pockets, easy You can put to baits in there. Bags. This one, yeah. Has a bag. So you can put your bait pucks in and all that good stuff. So we're at Dick Smith's here outside Milwaukee. So oh, there's there's a you can be in my you can be on my YouTube. Too. There you go. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is I have a sweatshirt on under here and it's comfortable. Right. Right. I could easily wear a hoodie under this. Awesome. So I got the jacket on and it's it's warm. It's, it's all the way up through the neck. It's warm. It's got nice pockets. It's got waterproof pockets here for phones and stuff. I, I really like this. And the cool thing on the sleeve here, there's a pocket right there to put that maybe hooks or whatever in there. I don't know. But All right, so I'm trying on the large, this is men's repel, right? Strike, Strike Master. Master. Sure float. Sure float. It's a float jacket compared to the striker. I feel more hugged with the striker that I had more protection. This one feels more bulky to me. Like it does, this doesn't even feel like I have flotation in it. Right. It makes any sense. It does. Um, and this is puffier? It's a flat puffy at this time. My Frable jacket, which is not a float, is puffier. And it kind of feels like that. It's just a different feel. But right. 
And my Frable jacket, which is not a float, is also right. really puffy and just feels like I'm wearing, like I'm the Michelin man. Right, right, and I do too. Um, I think you can break this in. Moving-wise, I think it's long, which I think if you went down on your knees, that's it's, gonna, it's gonna, your butt's gonna get in your way and you're not gonna be as free-flowing to get down on your knees at all. Right, right so even though this is 199, so yeah. it's like 60 to $80 less, depending yeah. upon the version, yeah. You don't think it's worth it? For me today, maybe my first jacket, if I didn't know better, it'd be okay. But if today, you're looking no. at if today, you're looking no. at a jacket to no. last you years and years and no. years. No. I've had my Frable for five years now. I'm ready for a new one. I understand now why Striker. You see so many of them around. You get what you pay for. That probably will be the last jacket I have. I think I'm gonna go with the climate because it has a zip in liner, which I'm gonna get more seasons. I'll get spring, winter, and I'll get fall out of that jacket just by taking out the liners. But I'll still have the protection I need in those days that are rainy, icky out. And I still right. have the water protection. So that's kind of where I'm leaning to right now. Um, colors are great. I love black and, and red and gray together. It doesn't, that, it doesn't look bad on. No. The collar is soft. Yeah, and there's a zipper pocket here. For your phone, right? Although some of these phones would be big, it'd be a pain in the ass to get to. Um, outside zipper on each side of the chest, yeah. And I don't know, the back, the back is fine, yeah. the hood is detachable, right? Oh. And the other thing, too, on that climate, there was a zipper pocket right here, which I really love that driver's license, extra money. If you yeah, your fishing whatever. license, you need There's to somewhere. have it, and you could actually leave that license in yeah. your pocket, you would have it there. Um, I think there's uglier, worse jackets out there. I, I'm gonna say I would give it a C plus. So if you found this on sale for like $125 in oh, a yeah. store. I wouldn't think twice about it. Okay. Yeah. But I'm, I'm looking for my- Your forever my jacket. jacket. Yeah, yeah. And I think you gotta go through a season or two with a jacket. Probably yeah. something you could afford. Or Number, borrow something. Right, because the other thing is you don't know if you'll, be, if you'll like it all season. Could you wear this to shovel snow or go out and about, go out doing an activity? Yes. And that might be the other thing. You could graduate it into some other function. Snowmobiling, you probably could go snowmobiling, you know, not religiously, but. But you could get out there. You could get out right. there and work on the farm and you could still yep. wear it out fishing. Yep, absolutely. And that hood, that's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. So yeah, is there a perfect jacket out there? I'm not sure. We're trying to find it. So we'll let you know if we do. Okay, we are at Fleet Farm still. And so what is this? DSG. DSG. It's supposed to be a float suit. Good. What is the price point on this one? Um, one ninety nine again. So it's the same as that striker, right? Now this is made. This is a women's cut, but it's even small for a women's cut. This is a women's extra large, and I usually wear about a sixteen. And I have no bibs on underneath it. I have just a thin sweatshirt. So there's no way. Once I get bibs on, there, there's no way. There yep. are some things about this that women might like. It's got a little bit different color, yep. which is nice. Yep. It's got these little hand guards. They are attached. You can't detach them. I suppose you could push them up, but to me, they're kind of going to get in the way. Mm -hmm. um, some women might like that, but I wear fingerless gloves. So for me, it Not doesn't so do it. This is the typical, I mean, almost all of these coats have this Velcro closure at the bottom. So that's pretty standard. You've got Zipper pocket on each each side of your chest. Yeah. Fleece lined, but they're smaller than most of them. My large phone would have a hard time fitting. Okay. What about those pockets on the bottom? Like those? Is it? Can you slide your hand sideways? Yep. Okay. But they're still small. Yeah. They're really small. Are they lined? But they. The front side is lined with fleece. The back side is nylon. Nylon. Okay. But. I couldn't put my gloves in here and try and do anything else. Just my gloves will fit in there. All right, look at the back. So you got a hood. It's not, or it is detached. It's detached, but it's not lined. It's not lined, soft. so it's thin. It's loud, really loud. Yeah. I wouldn't like that. I would never wear that hood. Okay. So you got an inside pocket You've here. You got an inside pocket. And you got a little skirt snappy thing. You do, you've got a little skirt. You know, maybe someone who's younger. I don't maybe know, younger. tall and a slim fit. Teenager really petite woman yeah that's all i can say Maybe. try them this is why we're here to try these on um but it's bulky 
Yeah. And at 199 and at Fleet Farm, that's where they're at. That's the first time I've seen them. I and saw it, them online, but that's it. Right. And the problem when you order this stuff online, most people I know that do it and never tried it on, they're disappointed when they get Absolutely. They get it, so. Absolutely. It's a, it's, this is time well spent. And I'll have to admit, this flea farm has a lot of choice here. But, you know, everyone's different, so. All right.